Frontierland is the home of two of Disney's iconic mountains. We'll start with the one so popular it assures that Disney can never completely sweep Song of the South under the rug, Splash Mountain. It's hard to believe now, but this ride got its name because Michael Eisner, in his infinite wisdom, wanted it to be a promotional tie-in with the movie Splash. Yeah, I can't believe they didn't go with that idea. So, instead of going with the movie doomed to semi-obscurity, they decided to tie it in with the movie that the company always tries to force into obscurity, which backfires and turns into Mysterious Legend. Because the ride went so over budget, a lot of the animatronics were taken from a defunct attraction called America Sings. Yeah, I don't know anything about it, it was gone long before I ever went to the parks. Sadly, Splash Mountain was closed the first day I was getting footage at Magic Kingdom, so we came back another day. We are now in hour 12 of waiting in line for Splash Mountain. Fortunately, not all of us have resorted to cannibalism yet. How are you keeping yourself entertained on the Splash Mountain line, sir? Video games. Ah, uh, yes. Daniel, my friend, what are your thoughts on this uh, experience? Oh, we're about to lose another one. Both versions of Splash Mountain tell the same basic story, which is just one of the Uncle Remus stories with fewer racist overtones. There are a few differences between the coasts, but nothing I thought was worth mentioning because we all do this ride for the ending. And you know what the ending is. You go up the hill, you go down the hill, you get really wet, and I turn into Jack Nicholson. Okay. <laughs> 